How can you use ChatGPT for work? In this video, we're going to walk through three most common use cases for ChatGPT in the workplace, including drafting emails, brainstorming ideas, and market research. And we'll walk through prompts for each of those examples. But I don't want to limit your imagination. ChatGPT can be used in hundreds of ways in the workplace. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT for those use cases. Brainstorm 100 common use cases. Everything from assisting with writing, drafting emails, writing reports, content creation for marketing, building your personal brand, brainstorming, helping come up with strategies, product names, research assistance, analyzing industry trends, reading articles, summarizing them, customer service. You can build AI powered chatbots, for example, for sales and customer support, analyzing data, presentation, project management, marketing, sales, crafting cold outreach campaigns, product development, development, brainstorming features, upload wireframes for your app and ask ChatGPT to critique it, human resources, writing job descriptions, coming up with interview questions, legal assistance, like explaining legal clauses, financial planning, drafting budgets, operations. You can turn videos, for example, into SOPs, document workflows, customer onboarding, SEO, training, event planning. Now I'm just scrolling quickly because there are truly so many ways to use ChatGPT in the workplace place. In this video, we're going to explore three use cases that are pretty common, but I don't want you to think it ends there. So if I tell ChatGPT to continue brainstorming, for example, it's going to brainstorm even more ways to use ChatGPT at work for knowledge management, for quality assurance, for compliance, for corporate communications, investor relations, product launches, partnerships, branding, crisis, public speaking, and so much more. So you get the idea. So the first use case I want to talk about is helping draft emails. And I love ChatGPT for this use case because it can provide different perspectives on the same topic. Let's start with something simple. Like, can you draft a follow-up email after a job interview? It just immediately created the draft. And then what you can do as the job seeker is tweak this template and add in, you know, personal information about yourself, why you're particularly enthusiastic for this role. And now what I'm going to do is edit the original prompt and add this tip that I told you about, I think two videos ago, add this to the end of the prompt. Ask me clarifying questions until you're 95% confident. What is the job title and company name? Let's say the company is called Blotato. The job title is a social media intern. When did the interview take place? Let's just say yesterday, virtual. Who interviewed you? Sabrina Romanov. She's the only person at Blotato. Any specific details from the interview you'd like to reference? Expanding her social media presence to Latin America. Excellent fits because I am bilingual. Okay. Ask about the next steps in the process or when you can expect to hear back. When hear back. Okay. Do you want to highlight any specific skills or qualities? Again, ambitious, passionate about AI, have been following all of her contents. Now it's going to draft a highly specific follow-up email based on the answers that we just provided. Hope you're doing well. It was a pleasure to learn more about your vision for expanding into Latin America. And I'm genuinely excited. My bilingual skills and passion for AI would align with Blotato's goals. And I'm eager to bring my ambition and enthusiasm to your team. I've been following your content closely, and I believe there's a lot of potential to amplify your presence in new markets. Already, this follow-up email is way more personalized than the first version. All I did is append this to the end of my prompt, and then I answered the clarifying questions ChatGPT asked me, and now we've got a really great draft to work with. Another common way to use ChatGPT for work is to brainstorm ideas. Kind of use ChatGPT as an assistant, as a partner to bounce ideas back and forth. So here, let's ask, what are some innovative social media campaign ideas for a fitness brand? ChatGPT is going to brainstorm some, like a 30-day fitness challenge, interactive live workouts, fitness myth busting series, fitness for a cause, et cetera, et cetera. So out of all of these, let's say we like number six. So I like number six, fitness for a cause. Can you find successful examples of other brands doing it? 
Uh, and then let's tell it to search the internet. ChatGPT used Browse with Bing to find different examples of brands that are doing this particular type of campaign. Soul Cycles, All Souls Welcome, Fitness for a Cause campaign. Then there was a Fit for the Cause, which is a nonprofit that combines fitness, wellness, and healthcare for underserved communities. Rebox Sport the Unexpected campaign. Now let's say my fitness brand is about getting outdoors in nature at least 30 minutes every day. What are some ideas for a fitness for a cause campaign? Now we're being more specific about the type of brand we have and we're using ChatGPT again as our brainstorming partner for very specific ideas for this type of campaign. So 30 minutes for the planet, nature heals charity walk, green your routine, outdoor warriors for wildlife, nature cleanup challenge. And these are all great ideas. This is an example where we're leveraging ChatGPT for constant brainstorming back and forth, right? Like first it spit out kind of a bunch of general ideas and then we decided to drill down into one specific type of campaign, fitness for a cause. And then we told ChatGPT and then we asked it to brainstorm some more ideas specifically tailored to our brand about going outdoors and combining that with a fitness for a cause campaign. Now, a third and super common use case for ChatGPT at work is to conduct research. For example, market research, you're trying to launch a new product and you want to explore what's already out there available in the market, what competitors are doing and so on. Let's say we're launching a new skincare product and we can start with something generic like what are the latest trends in skincare and ask ChatGPT to search the internet. Okay, and it's searching the latest trends in skincare 2024, barrier repair, minimalism, tech-driven skincare wow led masks okay de-stressing skincare etc and innovative ingredients okay that's a good start and let's say you want to analyze a specific company or set of companies analyze this company's website based in the link here okay core value props and differentiators. Here we're actually leveraging ChatGPT to perform competitive research or market research. We're giving it a website and asking it to summarize what is its core value proposition and differentiators. And this could help you figure out where do you want to sit in the market? How do you want to position yourself? Let's say brainstorm five ways my new skincare product can differentiate from Clean Skin Club, okay? So customizable skincare kits infuse single use towels with active skincare ingredients providing treatment while cleansing, okay? Inclusive packaging design, community focused approach. Along this theme of market research, let's say, I really like number two, search the internet to find other companies that offer number two today. And then what you can do is as ChatGPT finds those companies, I assume there are probably a few that exist, then you can ask it to analyze their websites, you know, their main value prop, their differentiators, and then brainstorm how you can position your product a little bit differently to stand out in the market. So for example, black charcoal cleansing cloths are infused with charcoal to help with poor minimization evening skin tone. Wow. Okay. And now let's compare these two companies. So now here ChatGPT is going to search the internet and analyze and contrast these two companies, Clean Skin Club and Boschia or Boschia. Not sure how to pronounce that. Clean Skin Club focuses on hygiene, sustainability, and minimalist skincare, while Boschia, so I'm probably butchering this name, uh, focuses on botanical ingredients, clean and vegan, innovation and in formats, and sustainability. And in terms of target market, both brands cater to health conscious consumers. Clean Skin Club, however, focuses more on hygiene, while this other company, whose name I'm not sure how to pronounce, leans into the power of botanical ingredients. So just in a couple minutes, we got ChatGPT to summarize what are the latest trends in skincare 2024, analyze Clean Skin Club's website and extract its core value props and differentiators, brainstorm several ways that a new skincare product might be able to differentiate from Clean Skin Club. And then I told ChatGPT, hey, I really like this idea number two. What's another company in that space? And then it found another company. And then we compared and contrast Clean Skin Club with this other company. Just in the span of a few minutes, ChatGPT has helped us with market research search for a new product idea. Just to recap, we talked about using ChatGPT at work for drafting emails, brainstorming ideas, and conducting market research. But again, I'm going to end with this really long list of all of the different ways that you can use ChatGPT at work. And getting a list like this, by the way, was as easy as asking ChatGPT. What are the most common use cases for ChatGPT at work? Even though we only covered three examples today, there are many, many, many ways you can use ChatGPT at work.